Hi everybody, it's Miss Greta here again today. Today, I want to talk to you all a little bit about the three R's. And for some of you smaller kids out there, let's just take a look at the letter R. There's the letter R, uppercase and lowercase. And R makes the R sound, R, R, R. And we're talking about our three R's in relation to the environment. The three important R's are reduce, reuse, and recycle. And we do them in a particular order. Now we'll talk more about these three R's later on and talk a lot about each one of them. But the first R is reduce. We're talking about reducing. We're talking about doing things to reduce the amount of waste that we have. And I think the reduce R can get kind of complicated. That's the hardest R for me to remember and practice in daily life. So I'm just going to give us one example of each R today. And we'll talk more about them all later on. One thing that we can do to reduce our waste <laughs> and it's probably a little bit easier right now since we're not quite as busy and we're spending more time at home, is we can choose not to eat out. We can say no to fast food and cook food at home. And we're gonna reduce our waste a lot. Let's think about that for just a minute. And I know that Happy Meals are awesome and they're fun sometimes, right? When we go out and we get those kid meals at the drive-thru, we've got the box that it comes in We've got the package the fries are in, the wrapper the burgers in, or the chicken nuggets or whatever we might have. We've got a little package that the sauce is going to be in, right? We've got the plastic that the toy comes in. All of that's going to come in probably a big old bag, not to mention mom or dad's food or mama or papa or whoever is taking you. So that's going to end up generating a lot of waste, a lot of trash that we're going to have to throw away, right? Whereas if, say, maybe we make spaghetti at home and feed everybody, all we're going to be throwing away is our meat package if we make it with meat and then maybe a couple of cans might need to be disposed of from our sauces or our tomatoes or maybe we're even using more fresh ingredients and we wouldn't even have that much trash, right? So that's one example of the reduce R. Now, what about reuse? Reuse. This one I think is a fun R. We love to reuse items for all kinds of different things around my house rather than throw them away. And sometimes you might even be able to reuse something that is also recyclable. So we might recycle it even after we've reused it. Here's an example of a good reuse. We like to eat yogurt in my house a lot. And unfortunately, if you look closely, you might can see that this particular yogurt cup is a number five. And here in Cock County, we're not able to recycle number five plastics at this time. So we're going to reuse this for a snack cup. You could even use it for a small kid's drinking cup. You could use it to hold craft supplies in or beads or all kinds of different things. You could even paint it and decorate it and make it into a nice little pencil holder. It could be all kinds of different things. You could get super creative and make all kinds of fun things out of different containers that we can reuse instead of throwing them away in the trash can, okay? And then lastly, recycle. Our recycle R. And I have one example, and actually this one, I love these kinds of containers with these nice lids. I would probably just reuse this one over and over. But eventually, when I'm done reusing it, I can just look on the bottom there, look for that recycle symbol, those chasing arrows that make that triangle. And I can see that it is a number one. And a number one and a number two can be recycled. They can be recycled right in here in Cock County. When we recycle something, it gets made into something brand new. So this peanut container might end up being a water bottle. It might end up being part of a toy, a toy truck, or a Barbie doll kind of item, or even sometimes part of our clothing. Sometimes our clothing is made from synthetic fibers that are made from recycled plastics. So it gets a new life as something else. It gets recycled. Instead of getting thrown away in the trash and going on to the convenience center, or what we call the dump, and onto the landfill where it gets buried in the earth, it gets a brand new life and gets made into something new. 
Okay, so that's just a little bit about those three R's that are so important to try to remember and practice every chance that we get so that we can take a little bit better care of our earth and the environment and have less waste that's getting buried into our earth, right? Now, speaking of reuse, you know I couldn't go before I shared some kind of little craft with you all. And no surprise here, guess what we're using once again? more of those toilet paper rolls but there's just so many possibilities we just can't help ourselves okay so you're gonna need toilet paper roll uh, we used a little bit of scrap paper so we had some scrap paper and we had some paint lying around so what we made we painted ours Layla did I didn't do it <laughs> Layla painted hers and she painted it yellow and we cut out scraps from another paper uh, toilet paper craft toilet paper roll craft we'd already done to make ears and to give him some fangs our lion has some vicious fangs there and then our scrap paper came in handy we cut that out in the shape of like how we wanted his mane to look for this lion's mane I did help a little bit with that part and then what we did was we cut two little slits cut two little slits just about the same width as our toilet paper roll to make a cute little lion isn't he funny? <laughs> okay. All right. So I thank you all for watching with us today. And I hope that you find some opportunities to remember those three R's and practice them during this time at home. And don't forget to find some kind of item lying around and reuse it to make a fun craft to enter our funky junk art contest that's going on. Okay. Make sure you message us and share your pictures of your crafts made from reusable items for the Funky Junk Art Contest. I hope you all have an awesome weekend. Miss Mika will be on some tomorrow. And I'll come back and do a new video for you all again next week, okay? All right, bye-bye. Have a good day.